And you can see what's on. <laughs> Dude, you got to settle down. That was serious. I know. Well, we, might, we might turn these lights on too. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll snap those on. Oh yeah. Hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Make Art. Today we are painting this beautiful bee right here. Woo! And it's a boy's night. It's a, it's a man's, man's night. Man's, 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 night. <laughs> man's night, painting this bee. So let's introduce everybody. We got Jake, who's painting with us today for the I'm, first time. I'm from Jacksonville. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mindy from Mindy. We have Al, who's doing camera work for us. Again. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is painting tonight. He's also my husband, so I might tease him a little bit more. Me. He's probably going to tease me, to be honest. Uh, my name's Sarah Cray. And this is Ron. He's doing camera work for us today. <laughs> and then Noah's painting with yeah, us again. So <laughs> welcome. Welcome, Ooh, everybody. All right. Let's make some art. Yay. Let's blow the roof off. <laughs> yep. I mean, in a... Oh, my. Sorry. Oh there we go. My. There's some I'm really light. I'm excited for this. I don't know about you guys. I'm way excited. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. OK. Wait. OK. Wait, we still get a trace, right? Yeah, we. I'm, I still have to trace mine. Hopefully, you guys have your outlines. Laurel says hi from Lava Hot Springs. Hi, Laurel. Yeah. Hi, Laurel. Hello. 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 Um, these guys have already traced theirs, but I still need to trace mine. So I'm going to start that here. And um, sorry, I can hear myself talk. All right, let me. <laughs> So this outline you can find just on our website, or if you ordered the kit, it is in our kit. <laughs> I told you guys didn't have to trace your outline yet. Cause oh, yeah. this- Over here whispering to himself, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Oh gosh, I gotta go. Let me use different. Uh, if it's your first time using graphite paper, you're gonna take your dark side and put it down in between your watercolor paper and your outline. So it's dark side down, and then you start your outline. And um, this graphite paper is really strong, so kind of be soft when you do your outline or else you're gonna have a super thick uh, dark black line, which um, it's not a huge deal on this B, except for the wing area, because we do a light wash on the on the wings, but that's okay. Laurel says, I just found you guys, I was on the buying site and did not see the live. Are we just tracing? Yep. Yes, Currently. Laurel. Currently we are, we are now outlining we be our B and we will be painting our B shortly. I'm taking my shoes off. Oh, Dude. okay. <laughs> Ew. 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 That's disgusting. Hey, oh, no. hey. That's party foul. <laughs> Wait, are they sandals or are they tennis shoes? They're Birkenstock. Okay, you're, <laughs> you're fine then. <laughs> this is a big week for us, Sarah. You got boxes shipped out, monthly boxes went out. Yes, so this week we got our <laughs> monthly boxes out. So I think a couple people have actually already posted that they got their boxes, which is so exciting. So if you have your box, share it, post a picture. And the monthly box for those who don't know. And for those who don't know, it is uh, the subscription box that we started for the month. Um, it was all, all of May's projects have been shipped out and those are ready to paint when we get to them, so. All right, we'll work on that sales pitch. I'm sorry, I'm focusing. <laughs> Maybe I should have outlined my B. I like specifically didn't, so we could all do it together. And they're all Cheers. done. Debbie got hers yesterday. What do you think, Debbie? Debbie, what do you think about your box that you got? Please say only positive <laughs> things. <laughs> Billy loves it. Love Billy box. loves it. Billy yeah. loves it. Yay, Billy. I packed hers. I, I feel like I packed hers. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I just bought the shipping label. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just shipped it. Michael, why don't you introduce our colors for us? All right. Let me look at them. Okay. We have Dr. P.H. Martin's 15B Daffodil Yellow. 
Ooh, daffodil. That's a good yellow, I told That's you. this color here. I have never painted, so we're in this together. Oh, it's on that side. Uh, we have Dr. P.H. Martin's golden brown. And lastly, mm. we have black. <laughs> nice. So, these are our three B colors. <laughs> good job. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a toss up to see who was gonna Wait, you, you know, do the art show, me or her, but she won. Just barely though. Okay, so that goes away? Yeah, that just goes away. Your graphite paper so goes away. Uses, though, graphite paper you can use over and over again for a very, very, very long time, so don't throw it away after one use. I need help. Why? Well, because I forgot to trace part of my wing. Oh, wait. Oh. Here, put this on there. <laughs> no, I can do it. It's hard to line it up again. I'm just cheating. I can probably, I can do it. I'm pretty, got a steady Yours hand. is pretty good. <laughs> Let me make sure I have everything traced on mine. Oh, I'm missing a leg. Come on, Michael. Just suck it up and try. Mm. Hey, Michael. Let's make some art. All right. You got it, honey. We're coming out of All right, I'm going to get it close to you. I'm coming out of that <laughs> point right there. Okay. This one? Give him coordinates. Yeah, that one. Yeah, because that's okay. okay. We're coming down I below. I think we're good. And then just go to Y and the hook. No. I, there you go. That's yeah. good. Good job. Really, and now it's going to be unique. I don't even need it. Now it's just going to be yours. Yeah. You got okay. a little heavy handed there though. <laughs> you told me that the graphite paper was strong after I had been like stabbing. I just want to say that is not true. <laughs> he did like two <laughs> lines and I'm like, be soft with it. He was just like, it's fine. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Craig Welty loves that Michael, and Karen Gray says Grandpa Cutler says to his high school mascot was a bee. Oh, my grandpa's high school mascot was a bee. That's funny. Ours are the Hornets now in Hamilton. But so. your bee kind of has like a stinger. I did put a stinger on Michael put a stinger on his. Okay, let's do our oath before we do our warm-ups. <coughs> so everybody raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I will be kind to myself. I will, I will be kind, kind to myself. myself. I will have fun tonight. I will, I will have, have fun tonight. And have, have, have some fun <laughs> tonight. Tonight. <laughs> and I will. Yes. What should we? What should the last one be? And I will. Be kinder to bees. Be kinder um, to bees. That's an excellent one. Be patient, be <laughs> yes. and I'll be patient. Okay, be, we, be patient. I'll be, I will be patient I'll with be myself. Martin, I'll be patient. <laughs> That's it. I will be <laughs> and be, I'll be the bee. Done. I'll be the bee. <laughs> okay, so that beautiful outline you guys just made, put that to the side. Okay. Because oh. right. we're going to do our warm ups. I'm going to put mine on Jake's and then take Jake's. Okay. Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so for our warm-ups, this is just a good way for us to get to know the colors we're using and to get used to watercolor and play mm. with them a little. So, the first exercise we're going to do is you're going to grab your paintbrush. Which one? Get it Which wet. One? I went with my four. That or six. That's the bigger one. Got it. You're going to get it wet, kind of like, there you go, and grab some color. I'm going to start with yellow. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, pick up some color. Got a little color, right? And then you're going to make a few dashes, like back and forth like this. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And then add water to it. Like clean your brush off, pretty much. And then where you left off, you're going to touch there and swoop back and forth so we can get a nice value change from dark to light. Now it should hopefully just bleed out. You're doing it. This is it. This is watercolor. Good. Yeah. That looks good. Good job. That looks great. Mine's okay. Yours looks great, honey. Okay. And then uh, do that again because I want you to get used to this because this yeah. is any color. any color. This is warm up, so you can use whatever color your heart desires. But it's kind of fun to do all the colors so you kind of, like if you're not familiar with the colors we're using, that way you can, you know, Wait, kind of see what they look second like. Second time you clean your brush, huh? Yeah, second time you pretty much clean your don't brush. Don't smash it in the bottom. I mean. You get in trouble for that. Don't smash it so hard that you got break it. the bristles. Got it, actually. Okay. Christine Hansen Patton says, go cheese, Jake. 
Good cheese. Go cheese. Go cheese. Go cheese. Good cheese. Somebody don't know. It's just like, hey, good cheese. <laughs> good cheese. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna and then I'm gonna do it. Let's do it with all three colors. Here. And then good cheese. I want you to go back to the top one and do the same thing except going the opposite direction. So if you had your value change bleed to the right, you're gonna have it bleed to the left. So oh boy. And I'm gonna into each other. Uh, you're gonna leave a little bit of a white space in between them. Cause this is how we're gonna do like the the belly part of the B. So we're gonna go like have it go from dark to medium to light to light to medium to dark. Wait, what are we doing? The what same, doing? same, okay, except now. opposite. Connecting. Yeah. Connecting on. You guys work fast. The other crew I used to work with, paint with. Your slow. other crew. Slow. You had a you slow paint. <laughs> Jake was the, the star. Of I was one of the lit. fastest. Okay, and then I'm just going to do that. The streets of Seattle. The second time on my second one. Wait, so can do you flip the paper around to do that? No, you just um, start over more and go the opposite direction. But if you need to flip the paper around to do that, that's fine too. What Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Catch me yep. sad. Sometimes I like to pull some. Yeah, that's good. I've seen that on a Let's Make Art once. So great to finally meet you in person. Okay, and then if if you're getting to the edge of your um, like, let's say, I Wait, put what what? How is yours white? Oh, you guys didn't connect them. I barely connected them with like yeah. only just water. I mean, this looks pretty crappy. Whoa, whoa! Uh, in a good way. We are in a nice way. I should have had you guys promise to be kind to each other. That's what I should have done. Okay. Uh, <laughs> He just pressured me to connect them. Yeah. <laughs> Those fingers are touching. Okay, let's say I added my water and it's still pretty dark. I want it so it's like the color is barely there. So if you have to rinse your brush one more time to keep it going and to keep it going, that's fine. Like just keep keep going, keep going, keep going until it's like barely any color there. Yes. 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 No, this is great. This is, that's exactly it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to practice our uh, kind of fur textures. So we're going to put down our four and we're going to grab our twos. Yeah, so Laurel was wondering what paint again, what, which paint colors? So, Michael, please. Um, first up. <laughs> We have a lovely daffodil yellow. Laurel, is that who I'm talking to? Yeah. Yes. Laurel, lovely daffodil yellow. That's this bright sunshiny yellow here. Here. Next up on the running, we have a fantastic golden brown. This is a warm yellow. Created by the great Dr. P.H. Martin himself. And lastly, black. Those three. And then water, of course. Okay, so we're gonna practice our fur textures because bees are actually furry. So um, you're going to grab some color. doesn't matter what kind of color. And I just want you to practice making, um, yeah, we're, we switched to the small brush. And we're going to um, do a bunch of kind of dashes next to each other. Like that. Which is the... So the round lets you go from a thick to thin line in the same stroke which is why I like rounds. So, yep, that's it, exactly. Yep, you know, that's great. Oh, that is? Yep. Thick to thin. Yep. So you're, exactly, so you're almost like what? flicking. Make that noise. Just yeah, if, if you need a foie, if you need to make your foie sound, that's fine. But just do, we're just gonna do, and see if you can almost make a circle with that. So it's gonna be like, Close. Put your hand on the like a starburst. I just want you to practice making these strokes in all different directions. Yep. And if you are so, you want a little bit more water on your brush. No, there you go. Just thinking. Yeah. 
I really could tell that that was not one. So if you are, uh, if you're painting and your brush gets a rough texture like this, that means there's not enough water on your brush. So come over here, Ron. Come take a look at this. So if you get a rough texture like this, we want to add a little bit more water onto our brush so then it will turn into a smooth like that. So this is the kind of marks that we want to make. We don't want this rough. Perfect. Okay. So then the next thing I want you to practice is doing just a long, thin line. <laughs> if you want a thin line, then you're really soft with on pressure for your brush. So like, this is the same brush, but this is me being soft with it. Okay, so I get a thin line. And this is me pushing hard on it. So I want you to try and make thin lines. Your hand get really shaky when you're trying to go real thin. Yeah, I got it. your hand might shake a little, that's okay. So Laurel's asking, she has those colors, does she put one dot out to start? So you, you might, like for people that just got the kit, mm -hmm. um, sort of catch them up on how to get okay. where you are. Yeah, if you just got the, the kit and you're not sure where to start, what I usually like to do is I like to pour them out on my palette here. And um, I put them in three different sections and then I have room in between them to mix. You pour the whole bottle? Yeah, you can pour, there's a, a lot of paint in there, so you can pour the whole bottle if you want. We, we meant for them to just be for one project and then to play around a little if you want. If you want to save them, you can try and pour a little bit out, but usually you can just put those out there. If you have the big ones, don't pour the entire bottle out. You just need the one little, one or two squirts from the dropper here. So like, that's all you'll need. Are these lines sufficient? Yeah. Try and do, and then try and make them long. Yep. Like this long? Yeah, that's long. And so what will help you make long, thin lines is to use your arm and not your wrist. So, okay, look, look how, so this is me using my wrist. This is how long I can make it. And usually it's kind of like shaky, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> But if you use your whole arm, so I'm kind of like lifting my wrist up and I'm moving my arm, then I can make them as long as I need them to be. So try and when you're doing practicing your lines, I'm you out of water, I think, at the end of my line. Yeah. Try and use your arm instead of your wrist. Hey Misty's on. Hey, hey Misty. Because your wrist is going to limit the length of the line that you can do, but your arm you can go as long as you want. This, like, small lines are hard. Yeah, thin yeah. lines are really yeah, hard. You guys out there. If you want to try the liner. Oh my. Oh, oh, my oh you got no. it. <laughs> Jake's got it. Let's move this over here. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and show him that line. Look at Jake's thin line here at the bottom. Bam. Look at that. Beautiful. That is hot. I was using my arm yep. and not my wrist. Right. Because this is when we do the wing detail, we're gonna be using um, thin lines to do the, the little detail on the wing, so it's good to kind of practice those. Oh, Michael's going back to fourth grade. Stoogy. <laughs> it says All right. pinky on the paper when you paint the line. Is my pinky on the p oh, paper when I paint the line? Um. No, but if that's if that's what you need to, you do you, Lisa. yeah, you do you, Lisa. If that what's if that feels good to you, then you go ahead and do it. I usually have my whole kind of hand off of the paper, so it's only like my forearm that's kind of grazing across my desk, like but that. You hold the brush so weird. Anyway. Like, I I totally hold the brush weird. What? No, I don't. Oh, okay. It's fine. Okay. Well, you guys are throwing me out. I'm not cut out to make thin lines. You know what? I have my liner in case you need help. Because that's what liners are for. Like, should I feel bad about using the liner? Like, don't feel bad liner? at all. No. The thing that I always do is I use a size one. You have a one? 
this is a two. <laughs> so, okay, let's start, you guys. Like, Focus, bring it back. Bring, bring it back. Grab your larger grab paintbrush. This grab this. Yep, grab your grab your outlined B. Time to get serious. Now it's time to paint this B. Let's paint this B. Let's paint this B. All right. To start. We are gonna start with our black lines on our body. So I'm going to get my brush wet, pick up with the bigger brush that you have, yes. Either a four or a six, whatever you have. And um, we're just gonna start filling it in. So you can just kind of follow the outline now you'll see here as we go up to the next section of black that I have this area kind of a line out. Right, you guys see that right there? Yeah. You are not gonna fill that in because that's the glare on our, on the black part of our B. So I'm just gonna kind of do the sides. And we're skipping every yeah. other. And you're skipping every other because it's gonna be yellow. And this is supposed to be dark. Yes, this is black right here. The darkness. You now you don't have to go all the way to the line. Here, you're going to kind of want to stop halfway to the line. This seems like really thick. Is that okay? Yeah. It's okay if it's nice and thick because you're right. just filling it in. So Michael went all the way to his line, which is fine. We're just going to pick up some of that color because we want a, a gradation from grade eight. Gradation? Is that the word? Grady? Gradient. Gradient. No. Radiation. Gra no, not that word. Jeez, pass. Gradient from dark to light. And so I'm just going to lift up some of the black that he put down here. Like that. Just stay away from those dots, is what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I also did that. That's fine. Just take water. If you went all the way to your line, just take water and lift out a little bit of color around it. Like how far back? Like that? Yep. Because oh, yeah. we're going to spread, just using water after it dries for a second, we're going to spread that out, like in the warm up, how we went from dark to light, we're going to do that same thing. But we're not going to do it right away because this black is really powerful. That's okay. Because then you'll just make that part of the top. Okay. You're good to go. You're being unnaturally nice to me. I would, I would <laughs> try I've never seen her this way, but I don't It's because people are watching that I'm being nice to you. Uh, <laughs> right, and join. Great. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so. Great. If Andy was here, he'd be on the show tonight. Sarah. Yeah. Just let him know that. This fat part on the top? Yeah, the Cause... fat part. Okay. But don't go all the way to the line. Dang it. It's okay. You can just lift some of that out. You're, you see that I'm stopping kind of oh, like shoot. halfway to the line. It's okay. <laughs> no. You guys are really stressing insane. out. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. It's okay. It's listen, okay. Listen, guys. Listen. Not the end of the, the, end of the world. Up. You really can't. It's watercolor. We can just lift stuff out. It's not a big deal. All right. So I'm gonna go like this. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. I was like, wait a second, this is a trick I don't know. Yep. Yep. And if you want to lift out more, then you just put more water on it. Oh, your fingers in front of the lens. <laughs> okay, oops. There you go. There. Oh, that's lovely. Yep. And we're just going to leave that after you've done to the top, we're just gonna leave that and let that dry for a second before we try and blend it out. And this one, right here, mm -hmm. but not to the line. But into these little cracks. Yeah. 
It doesn't have to be exact. That's also going to be fur. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, like yep. Just do the other I'm side. Going this way now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna move to another part of the body because the thing with watercolor is it's kind of like this game of putting paint and water down and then letting it dry before you mess with it. So uh, to be efficient, I just work on different areas of the bee while stuff is drying. So we're gonna move to the furry part of the body, which is gonna be this around here. Okay, I'll move this in the center so you guys can see. We're gonna move to this area while the black dries. So we're gonna move to here. The sunflower. The sunflower part. Oh, it does look like a sunflower. Okay, I'm gonna mix my golden brown with a little bit of the daffodil yellow. Are we still on big brush? Will yeah. You, will you slide your pan in a little bit? Mm -hmm. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm taking some of my golden brown, moving some daffodil yellow into it. And then using my big brush, I'm going to do um, those kind of same hair textures that we practice with. So you're just going to kind of follow and we're just going to do the top part in this darker color. Okay. Yep. Mine's not as dark. Wait, as did you? Yeah, if yours there. is not as dark here, so Michael did his, it's not as dark. You can just pick up more color and you can even just drop it in. Pull it down from the line. And it will just kind of spread. spread on its own. You can help it a little though. So don't worry if it's not dark enough because you can always add more layers on top of watercolor. Okay. That's okay. He's hairy. Really hairy bird. And then I'm just going to take my, my golden brown and kind of outline this circle here. Like that. Okay, okay, I see what you got going on there. I don't think I needed that color. Now this doesn't have to be a perfect outline, we just want it to be darkest closest to that part that comes to this kind of circle area. After I circled it, I'm going to take my just daffodil yellow and start doing the bottom part of the fur. Please say again which brush you're using for the bottom. I'm still using the four for this. Are you mixing this brown with anything on the circle? On the circle, that one's just golden brown. So now I'm going to start doing the bottom part. This is just daffodil yellow straight. And you can have it go all the way to this line that we already put up. And it might start to catch and bleed, that's okay. So when you do your four textures, we want to do shorter strokes. I like how I'm always the like, don't do this example. <laughs> You're not. But we want to do kind of more shorter strokes like this upon layers. Because it's just going to read more true to fur because it has layers and layers of hair. Of the yellow? Yeah. yeah. Right. And I'm furring downwards. You're kind of furring around the circle. But yeah. So am I yeah. referring to these lines or am I just... You're referring to like these lines here. But it, yeah, she was just telling me you gotta do it in like two. Yeah, so if like you have to do like... Layers are on purpose. Yeah. Do the first layer, the outer layer first or the... Yeah, either one I think. I mean, I, it, you can do them at the same time. But those smaller, like that inner layer, we're gonna go back in when it's dry and do another texture on top of that. So as long as you can still see those marks underneath, you're good. And can you go all the way? So we're going to go all the way to the top where our dark meets. So was it supposed to like fill in all the white? 
I guess it probably should. So um, you don't have to worry about that here. I'll actually, Ron, yeah, I'll show you. So uh, his fur looks really nice. I like the different brush strokes and the thin to thick. He does have some white spaces in here, which is okay. Um, what I would do is maybe go in with a darker color, so a, like a like the golden brown a little bit, and go in between where those kind of white strokes are and fill it in that way. Sweet. Should be said if you were Michael, she'd just do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> if it was Michael, I would just do it. <laughs> And then we're going to kind of take, so I took my daffodil yellow, I put it all the way around to the top, and then I'm going to kind of like um, blend, take some golden brown and kind of blend out this outline that I have. Because we don't want a strong, like dark circle around the center. We're going to try and blend out that color. Carissa, she's having an anxiety effect trying to keep up. Yeah, me too. Oh, <laughs> okay. We'll slow it down. We'll slow it down. I hear you. Um, wait, what, what, what's going on with mine? Is this all right? Am I doing yeah. okay? So yeah, now, that looks do I do great. another color in here? So now, what I would do is I would like take let's a little. Let's check in with everyone. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's just check in. Let's do a here. check in. We'll we'll start over here with Jake. <laughs> Okay, so his fur textures are looking really nice. I like the thin to thick that he has. Yeah, what I'm not I sweating. I'm not sweating. <laughs> it's, not it's not a big, big deal. deal. It's, it's fine. Crazy. So <laughs> what I'm going to tell him to do is we want to kind of blend out this dark that we laid down. That see this dark circle that we yeah. have. I want to start blending that out. So I'm going to have. I took a little bit of water and a little bit of the golden brown, and I'm just going to start just kind of moving that to the edge here. Okay. So kind of do that all the way around and blend that hard line out. Okay. A little bit of water. water. Yep. But it's looking good. Okay. So this is looking good here. He blended out his line, which is nice. Um, I would just let this dry. I wouldn't do anything to it. We're going to do more layers of, of hair, but we want this to dry first. So I think that's good. If anything, you can do a super light yellow on the edges here just with water and just kind of blend out this color that we have on the edge here. Does that make sense? So you can get even a lighter yellow on the edges. You know, see what I'm saying? Just with water. Because we're, we're just playing with the color that was already put down. So we can just kind of start to, to soften that a little bit. Okay. And for Noah here, yep, this is looking really nice. Um, I would blend this out just a little bit over here. Um, but besides that, this is looking good. Good work. Yeah, no critique for you, but... Really, Jake was the only one that had faith to use that. Jake is doing great, okay? Everyone is doing fine. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go down to the body of my bee, and I'm going to... We're just going to keep... Holy layers, bro. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. <coughs> so I laid down my black for the body, and I'm going to bleed out the black. Just with water. Just with water, because I'm just playing with the color that was already there. And I'm going to try and leave the center that I outlined like a really light gray. Does yeah. that make sense? Something happened. It's terrible. Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> it's all over that. What do I do? Are you <laughs> okay. have a napkin that or something? Okay, yeah. What we can do here. Nice. Here, Jake. Do you want me no, to fix no, yours? <laughs> I'll fix Jake's. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll fix yours. Yeah. No, don't worry. I'm a professional. If, <laughs> what you can do here is just get it wet. Oh shoot, that's my wing. And then um, pick it up. Whoa. That is magic. That is like a magic eraser. But make sure your paper towel is clean where you pick it up or else you're going to leave color. So I'm going to do the same over here. There's still going to be a slight mark there. 
It's getting dirty. But just, <laughs> yeah. So you just pick up as much as you can. Yep. In the future, what? Just don't suck so bad or what? What did I do? In the future, you just can't put your hand in the paint and then <laughs> oh, put your yeah. hand on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carol's yep. on. Uh, Carol. Also, if you have a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and you have clean water, that should clean it right up, to or be honest. Or any off-brand Magic Eraser. I almost brought my Magic Eraser. I can't believe I forgot again. Okay, so question. We're going all the way through. We're going all we the way... We don't care about that middle thing anymore. We're going all the way through, but the middle part, we want to have it be the lightest part light on the... Can. Yes. Just like we practiced. In Just like we kind of practiced going from that light to dark. Okay, so I think my water is like really dirty because my black is starting to kind of like brown up. Is that all right? Yeah. That's tricky. That is definitely tricky. <laughs> Remember if you like, okay, let's say that my black kind of just went crazy and it went all the way across like that and I lost my glare. You can lift color out using the same thing. Just take a clean brush and lift and wipe it on your paper towel. Like without water on it? So it's, it's your brush with water, but only water, no color. Yeah, and you can just lift out color. Yes, Kirby and Laurel, how they're doing. Kirby, did we, are we slowing down enough for you? And Laurel, let, it, let me know if you have any questions or anything. How is it looking? Okay, this part right here, is that we're messing with right there? Yeah. That one that popped up? That right there? Oh, no, because we're going to cover that with golden oh, okay, brown. okay, okay. Yep. If you get into your other lines, don't stress about it. We're just going to paint over them anyway. So hopefully on your, the body of your B, you have a dark to medium to light to medium to dark on those bands. Or you're still working on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, I'm going in and doing just one more layer of, of dark on mine. Which you can do too, Noah, if you want to make your, yours a little bit darker. Amy says she's having a hard time reactivating the paint on the edges to get them to blend. If you're having... She's using pH Martin Hydrus. Oh, if you're using the Hydrus, I'm, I'm not sure how easy that is to, to uh, get back wet and, and blend out. Because um, I actually haven't used black Hydrus before. Um, but if you're having a hard time reactivating it, just do another layer of uh, just like a fresh layer of black on top and just, just work with it while it's still wet. It's okay. Yep, that looks great. Like relatively great. Yep, that looks great. If, if anything, what you're gonna wanna do is kinda start straightening out your edges a little bit. See what I mean? See what I'm saying? So it's gonna be like. Do I want like a hard black line on the, um, the whole way over? I mean, not. You just want to like have it. Okay, right there. Yeah. Okay. With my fat brush? Yeah. yeah. And then there's a little bit of black underneath the. Oh, scoot your paper down, sir. My paper down? Yeah. Okay. And there's a little bit of black. Everybody look up, see where I'm painting. Right underneath this daffodil fur, I'm gonna 
put some black here. Just outlining it? You're not, well, I'm starting to outline it since we're working around fur, but it's gonna connect to this part here. How far over do I go with it? All the way to the edges? Um, like, um, like halfway to the edge. Yep, like there. Uh oh. That's okay. Does it connect with the? It does connect with the one underneath. It kind of makes like goes like that. Does that make sense? So it goes in, and then it connects, and then it goes back out to that. See what I'm saying? That value change is really nice over there, Jake. That looks good. Oh, thank you. Good You're job, welcome. Thank you. I'm trying to get my lines <laughs> <today. laughs> Yep, that looks really good. And then if anything, I'm gonna move Noah's here so we can see. So he just added the black underneath Dang, his Noah. top. Holy. Yeah, his looks really nice. So, but I'm gonna blend this out a little bit so it's not such a hard line does that make sense so I'm kind of just moving the black that you just put down there you go there you go there you go says like an hourglass yeah like an hourglass it's good she gets a like <laughs> she gets a like and you get a like you get a like you get a like okay there are no mistakes. Yeah, you're doing you're doing great. You're being really hard on yourself. Okay, we're gonna move to the wings. Now, for these wings, essentially what we're going to do is we are going to do a dark brown on the top and then just use water and make a light wash down all over the wings. Does that make sense? Let me show you. So I'm mixing my golden brown with a little bit of the daffodil and a tiny, tiny bit of black. I'll move this over so you guys can see. So it gets this like desaturated brown color, okay? It's brown and black. It's, yeah, it's a little bit of golden brown. It's a little bit of all three colors, but a tiny, tiny bit of black so it doesn't turn too gray. And then I'm just going to do the top line here. I'm going to go almost to the edge and then while it's still wet, I'm going to spread that out. And we're going to cover both wings. Is it just the other? Is a mix? This is a mix of, of all three. I'll do the other side again. Not this one. So I'm going to just do this top line. Thin it's brush. a big brush. Big brush, okay. Because uh, we're using the side of our big brush to spread out that color that we just laid you down. Just the top line. Just the top line, and then just use water to move this color down. Now your water might also be colored. Um, at this point, because of the paint we've put in it, that's just fine. So the top line's kind of like a little bit thicker? Yeah. And then you just grab some water? Yep. So see how, yeah, you just want a nice light wash on it. My water is very colorful. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, my pink is very beautifully colored. I'm just going to lift some color out. Yeah. Hold on, let me. So if you started your wash and there's too much color, just do more water and lift. See how it's kind of lifting out? Lift some of that out. Okay. Yeah, this looks great. That's a nice, I would get it even more wet. Take that wet all the way down to the edge. It goes into the fur? Yeah, yep, take it into the fur. And then you might, yeah, pat that dry. 
So here's Michael's here. He put a little bit too much water on his, so he just lifted that back out. We're just gonna spread this around just like that. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. So um, this is nice from a dark to super light wash. Yeah, his black lines look great. They all look great. Okay, let's go to Jake. They have great kids. They were an accident, thank you. Yep, this looks really nice. Same thing on that side. Same thing on that side. Yep. Alright. Perfect. But your black lines look really great. It's coming together. Alright. Can you uh, can you show the, the color mix again? Yeah. Sort of how you did. So what I did is I took some golden brown. I'll make a new pile over here. Golden brown, tiny bit of daffodil, and then a tiny, tiny bit of black. And then I added water to it so it gets to like an easy consistency to pick up. Now, uh, this doesn't have to be exact. If you, I mean, if yours end, ends up being a little bit more golden brownie, that's fine. Basically, we just want a little bit of color on the wings to, to tell that they're there. Um, and then, but we don't want it so colorful because they're still transparent. So we want a nice thin wash on them. We should make a color called Golden Brownie. Golden Brownie. Like golden brownie. There's a guitar pedal called the Golden Brownie. A guitar battle? Pedal. Pedal. Oh, no. A battle. A battle oh, sounds geez. pretty Who sweet. gets the Golden Brownie? <laughs> Good cheese, Jake. Good cheese. Yeah. Follow back, yo. Okay. You can, uh... So, it. like, if you just... <laughs> so, I just put a brush stroke down. This was too much color. If that happens to you, just wipe your brush. Just try and get water on it and lift some of that out. And you can wipe it on your paper towel. Lift. Do you have, like, white spots in the middle of the wings? White spots? I like... Well, you want the wash to cover all the wings, the whole wing. Whole wing. Yep. That thing here. No, that's okay. Okay. All right. What's next? Next. I'm just kind of. You're just waiting for us. I got it. I got this. <laughs> okay. Next. I got this. We're gonna fill in this center. And to do that, I'm just mixing my black with golden brown to get a nice dark brown. Wait, show that color, we can't see it. Kirby, tell me you're caught up. Kirby, I'm are you with this. us? I'm feeling this now. Okay. I Wait. took my black. A lot of black. A lot of golden brown. A lot of golden brown. Mix that together. I'm glad I don't have to try and mix my own colors. I know, you can just use off my own. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's a great color mix, Noah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go around, so I'm going to fill in. Be careful not to put your hand in the wings you just painted because they're still wet. Okay, and we're going to start with outlining. I have a lot of paint on my brush because I'm mixed, so I think I got a lot of paint. Yeah, a lot of paint is good. Okay. And then I'm just going to add water and spread it out. What are you doing over there? The wing. <laughs> and we want kind of like the upper part of the circle to be the lightest part on this. So like almost everything on this has is like a shape has volume. So there's going to be like a dark space and a light space. That's how we show that it's, there's a form. So like near the top is where our lightest is going to be. Am I, am I not shading in these little circles I drew? So the little circles were just to, were our highlights. Okay. That was just a general idea of where our highlights are going to be. And then just water and smear it around? Yep, water smeared around and have those around those circles and like the upper part, the highlight. Now you're gonna wanna smear this around at the bottom here. Go over those circles, right? They're just like for like. Yeah, you, know. you can go over it, and then what I would do, what I what I did is I went over it, and then I took my brush and lifted the color out near the top. But that's down, good too. Down this like 
Those little dots you're saying? So I like those dots. I mean, I drew. I don't think you need a lift color out here. I'm gonna bring this over so you guys can see. Um, because this is a really light. I just wouldn't touch this anymore, and blend this a little bit more, and this will be your highlight. Does that make sense? So this color wash that you already have, that's gonna be your lightest color. So don't add anything more to okay. it. Okay. But like blend this out. Put a little more on there. Just rub it with water. Just do what I'm doing right now, like that. Got it. Yeah, I can do that. Just. I can do that. I thought you needed money. So, for Michael's here, his is looking a little bit too outliney. We want to blend it so there's not such a strong outline, especially near the bottom. I just made that. What? I just put that outline on to spread out. Oh, to spread out? Sorry, did I cut you off before you could spread? That's fine. Sorry, dear. I'm sorry. You keep spread away. Spread away. Sorry, I cut you out. Yeah, that looks great. Those, like, lost that, you can lose, yeah. you can lose the, like coloring in the lines. I'm not very good at coloring in the lines. <laughs> I used to color a lot. I, I'm going to keep messing up my lines. I think you're doing fine. And remember the lines are a guideline. If they, if you go outside the lines, don't stress. They're just a guideline of where things are. If you go outside the lines, it's kind of like a country song. You must go outside the lines. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. You're good. Woo. That's good. I'd blend this yeah, out. I would do another yeah, layer of dark. This guy's question. It's too wet. Commentary. He helped me solve all my self doubts because he's asking the same questions. <laughs> yes, thank you. We need to have you guys every week. Mine's too wet to do another color. Then wait. Okay, that, that was a very good observation. Michael's is too wet to mess with right now. So when that happens, you let that dry. And then when it dries, you can go back in and do another layer here. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay now let's move to back to the body. Okay. We're gonna do our kind of gold yellow lines. We're gonna do the same thing, except I'm mixing. So for like the edges, you know how we just put like our darkest black. For that part, it's gonna be our golden brown and daffodil yellow. It's going to be like our darkest part on the edges. Here. So it's that like same process. <laughs> and then as you go towards the center, you're going to add more of the, so I put my edges, but I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to use mostly golden, I mean mostly daffodil to spread. It is a beautiful color. No, Michael makes up a, a, an amazing color over here. Jake's flattering me. That's wife. good, right? That's pretty good color. That is a good color. And that was freestyle. I thought he was joking around. He was being serious. So I put in like my golden brown here and then I'm going to grab my daffodil and kind of use that to spread. Now, if your black part of your body is still really wet, wait until it's dry before you do this part. Because if it's still wet and it touches the brown, then it's just going to bleed. So again, if the yeah. black is wet? If the black is still wet and it touches the brown that I put down, it, the black would bleed into that brown. So that's why we want to make sure our black is dry. So this is transitioning to what? This it's is white in the middle. To what? Do we go from like the brown to the golden? So you go from the brown, which is golden. So you're going to do your... Yeah, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> so you're going to do your dark edge yeah. with the brown. Got it. And then you're going to take your daffodil and transition mm -hmm. to the daffodil. Okay. So I should do all my edges first? Yeah, I did my edges first. <clears throat> And like looking at this bee, I can tell that like the black part of my bee is still too light. So when my brown is dry, we're going to go back in and do another layer. But you should have like a good, nice highlight on the full body of your bee. We want it to look, and that's how it's going to look rounded, right? 
because the edges are going away from the light, which is why they're shaded. And the very top part is closest to the light, which is why there is a highlight. And I'm going to get, does anybody need another paper towel? Yeah, yes. talking to wipe your, wipe my forehead. Yeah, to like <laughs> pick up the sweat that's dripping. It helps with blending. It does help with blending though. I'm going to put that there just in case. Thank you, You're good. Okay. I'm going to wait just a second. Yep. These look really great, you guys. Thank you. She's surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm going to take a drink, though, because it's hot in here. Okay, if you are done with that part, Michael, you can start on your legs. And those are just coloring them in. If you want to use, I would use your two for this part. So um, I mixed, you can do them straight black if you want. I mixed a little bit of the golden brown in there. So almost the same color that we did for the body. And you're just going to uh, fill in those legs. And okay. If you're not there yet, that's okay. Don't stress about it. Jake, I, I hear you hyperventilating <laughs> over there. <laughs> Take your time. This is just for people who are ready for it. Guys, we're just taking our time. We're taking no our time. Worries. Don't stress. They're not leaving us in the dust. I'm not going to leave you behind. No painter left behind. No painter left behind. We should put that on our box or something. Yes. For a nominal fee, you can have it from Jake. Yeah. <laughs> this phrase brought to you by Jake. Misty says they're looking good. Thanks, yeah. Misty. Thanks, Misty. Misty. Okay, don't you. do your middle legs. Don't do your middle legs yet. Just do the the bottom it. legs. And if you gotta like move your paper around so you don't put your hand on your leg. That's fine. You guys can move your paper around however you need to. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Are you wanting me? Yeah. Not your mother's paint show. No. <laughs> we sing Nelly here. I don't know your mom. Maybe it's her. Yeah, maybe it is. I do know your mom, actually. I'm like, Andrew we lived works. we yeah. lived with his mom. I know everyone's mom on this stage. <laughs> so to all of you, I take it back. I like this leg a lot better than this leg. Okay, so here's my, on this, like I got these little dots, like of white. I'm trying to fill those in. Is mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, right now? Mm -hmm. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right now. That's happening now. So, like, so he just has some yeah, little. Bring them over. Bring yeah, them over. bring them on over. Okay. Like he has little white spaces where his black is meeting his yellow, right? That's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can start filling those in now. I have them a little bit too on mine. If they're, you can just. Fill those suckers in. Can you use oh, black for that or just water? Whatever, whatever you think. I used black on mine because it was really close to my black lines. These are weird looking. These are so weird looking. What is this little shield they have on their back? I don't know. I didn't even know it was there until I went to paint a bee and I looked at one close up. It's bee battle. I don't know what it is. The other. warrior bee. Yeah. I think all, I think like all the bees you see are girls. I'm I'm I don't know. I all Can't speak to that. And then there's ah, a yeah, but there's a queen bee. There's That's a queen. I... All the workers are females, and there's drones that are dudes. I thought all the workers were male. No. Does I'm, anybody know I'm out very, there? Yeah. Get 100. us some chat. Get us some chat. Who's I'm, got a stinger? I'm very almost 100 percent sure. Who has a stinger? Yeah, because there's the one. girls. And they can only sting once, right? And like, they die? It's like human females have a stinger too, right? They do. It's called their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> You're cars. just like a father. <laughs> ah. Female worker bees, drone is a male bee. Female worker bees, drone is a male bee. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. You're, right. You're, right. you're right. You're right. You're, you're right. right. It's a, okay. You're a right. queen <laughs> and able to, in order to have a female bee does not need to get pregnant. She can oh. just make them. That's amazing. To make another sounds, male bee, sounds they have to use the drone. That's okay. Drone. Wait, now we're painting legs. Yeah. All right. Now brown. we're painting legs. Now when you go to the middle, it, yeah, just there, I mix black and brown together. Black and brown. Is that this? I'm, I'm also using my small brush for this, for Jake, the legs? if you want to, yep, for the legs. I think I will. Okay. <laughs> when you go to the middle legs, you see how it kind of continues up underneath the wing? See what I'm saying? Yes. This part is continuing up underneath the wing. Don't paint that yet. So go kind of just the other part. And the reason why we're not painting that yet and we're not making it the same yeah. color yeah. is because it's underneath the wing and the wing is transparent, but it still is there. So we, if we make it the same color as it coming out, then it's not gonna look like it's actually underneath the wing. It's gonna look like it's weirdly on top of it. So we actually have to do that one in a different value for it to be clear that it's underneath the wing as well. No, I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> No one knows what I'm talking about. Oh. Are my legs brown enough? Yep. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a serious question. It is and a I'm, serious question. Because I'm like, I think I really messed up this paint mixture. Nope. Do you just like not touch the paint, the paper? Cause your hand is like covered in paint. Yeah, I don't. You're just like float? I, yeah, I just uh, like sometimes I'll rest my wrist, but it, most of the time I do get paint on my hand. So I try really hard not to lay my hand down on the paper while I paint. Oh, or it's, another it's thing really you can do, let me paper. show let me show you a trick. You guys ready? Oh. I always crunch mine up until a little. We have ball. many. We have many paper or towel, or you can use a plain piece of paper. You get a roll. Get a roll of paper. Okay. So if you have a really hard time putting this. paint on your paper when you're kind of moving around because you can't lift your hand up, that makes sense. Just use a piece of paper or a clean paper towel, anything that you can rest your hand on, and then you can just move it around to wherever you need. Is this dark enough? I went back. Yes, that looks great. You want to check great. in or should we move on? <laughs> um, let's check in. <laughs> and the legs going with her hair. Yeah. Yeah. The her. Her, 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 her. Not not Catch me outside. Okay, <laughs> here's Noah's. This is looking really nice. We have a nice highlight across the body, so you can see here where it's the yellows are beautiful. I we're gonna go back in together and make darken our blacks a little bit, but this looks really nice, and your legs look great. We left that open, so it looks really good. This is beautiful. I love the natural like watercolor wash you've got right here. Very nice. Okay, we have Michael's here. I've touched mine a lot here and here and here. And Don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, nice. We have a nice yeah, highlight yeah. here. If anything, maybe go back with a little bit of the golden brown and daffodil yellow mixture and kind of color this in a little bit more. You see what I'm saying? Just on the sides. Darken it up, but not with black. We want it to be like a bright color. See how like bright and bold this fur is? We want the yellow part of our bee to be that same kind of. So go back in with a little bit of golden brown and daffodil along those kind of edges there and put some color back in there. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. But your legs look great. Everything else looks really nice. Thank you. And his body looks Thank you. Look great. amazing. Look he, at that. he went back in and did a darker wash on the bottom. That, that looks, looks really nice. nice. He waited till it was dry. And now, and now we have, have a nice dark, dark to medium to, to like, like this beautiful, beautiful highlight dark. here. Body looks so great. His body looks amazing. Okay. Body on that beat. This looks really great too. <laughs> I, would I would say, say the, the same, same thing. You see how we have this really vibrant, vibrant yellow over here? Uh -huh. We want to put that in the, you see how this, 
even though this value is nice, it has a nice dark to medium to light, we want a little bit of brightness back in there. Yeah. So just go back in with a little bit of daffodil yellow, golden brown, and kind of brighten. Right in the middle or the whole thing? I would do, I would leave the very middle, leave that, kind of do it like okay. here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. But it's looking good, your legs look good. Wow, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been riding, I've been riding a bike. <laughs> a bicycle. That's what you mean by bike. I've almost made it across the state. Hi, Grab a little bit more of the daffodil. You're talking to me? Yeah. She's trying to help. Okay. I am helping. It's trying to kind of. I mean, Michael's legs dark are on the like edges, but dark. I'm like it like bowed up. I feel like the water is. Just, just leave it. Yeah. Just wait. See what it does when it dries. <laughs> but I, yeah, I wouldn't touch it. So okay. Okay. Let's do the fur part on this body here. So you see, if you're looking at our reference photo here, which um, reference photos come in the kits, little five by seven reference photos. You can also like have your computer screen online to, uh, yeah. Okay. The reason why this is in plastic is this is an original that somebody paid me to paint for them. So I didn't want to get it messy. So I'm going to be really careful. Um, this part has like furriness on the body. That's what we're going to do next here. Okay. More brown and yellow on that fur? Yeah. That fur is going to be more of the golden brown. Your brown for your legs over here, is this it? Uh, yeah. And a little bit of that. So I'm taking my <laughs> little bit of that, little bit of this. Where did the brown go? Do we have a brown still? Oh, in that crack. Here's the brown. In the crack. So we're going to do those same kind of hair. And I'm using a smaller brush for this because this is a smaller area. So I'm using my two. And I'm going to um, do those same kind of like hair textures that we practice. Little swooshes, but do little ones and layers of them. So you're not doing long swooshes to cover the whole thing. You're doing like multiple shorter ones. Just with the little brush? With the little brush, yep. Just be straight with you guys. I'm still working on the legs. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. Don't worry. Yep, very nice. And then when you get to the top part of your bee, you're going to want to have your hairs kind of go up at the top. How's it going, Jake? It's good. These little feet, though. Little dirty feet. Yeah, they have little, tiny little, like, hooks on their feet. Dear Jake. It's also for the bee battles. Yeah? No. I'm the like, shield. what? The shield. The shield. The Their little hook feet. Oh, so you don't paint the, the leg in the wing. You're not gonna, you're not painting this part underneath it yet. Yeah. You're gonna paint the one that goes out of the wing. Starting to move on yeah. these legs pretty good. Should I like darken up the middle of this? When that dries, we'll go in and we'll do uh, more okay. hair texture, the same one we do there. So don't worry, we'll do that. Let's clean out some water. Okay, water break. Let's cook with gas. What's the Missouri consensus on gas fire? You guys four over here. Yeah, no, you're right. We go for it. All about love. 
Are those supposed to connect? Well, these look like weird stick, uh, like walking sticks. They don't. Those are antennas, like a little eyes. They look how they're supposed to look. You can see all the way down your throat with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you need a second mirror and it's a guy. <laughs> Is there a chance that it is yours? Oh, <laughs> that is yours. You gave it to me back in the early days because we didn't, couldn't, we couldn't have a flip around screen, so we had to hold it up there to see what we were saying. <laughs> Come a long way. Kind of. Okay. How are you guys feeling so far? Deep breaths, deep breaths. I'm writing my review in my head. This thing is pretty cool. <laughs> They're going to be done and you're just going to be like, yes. Yeah, except me because I go home and live with you and you have like the good ones. No. The good ones? Go We're all like, good ones. Look what I painted. I go home and I'm like. You keep complaining like this, you're not going to have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. You keep complaining like this, you ain't coming home with me. <laughs> oh, 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 that yes, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> that is what I was waiting. I knew something was coming. <laughs> Man, Rob, you still have an extra room upstairs. <laughs> okay, we're going back into it, guys. With what number? We're gonna grab the two. We're going to um, do the upper legs, but you'll see on the, the big part of the legs, there's a little dot that I put in there. Don't paint that in, that's a highlight. Okay, so just leave that black. I mean, leave that white. <laughs> do the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> so I'm painting around it. With the same color that I'm doing legs with? Yeah. Is there a dot in both of them? Yep. Oh, shoot. If you <laughs> did not draw in a dot, that's fine. Just leave a little space there. Imagine a dot. Imagine in your mind's eye. Imagine the people. We should just sing along. And then you take requests from the chat line. Yeah, if you guys have any song requests, I feel like these guys would sing it. Weird. <laughs> There's one about Amish people that he's saying. I can't remember the words though. Amish oh, paradise. Amish, Amish paradise. paradise. Normally I'd say don't make fun of them, but this is on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> they will never know. Let's be correct. Is this like supposed to go into the fur? Yep. It goes into the fur. Missy's calling for You've Lost That Loving Feeling. You've Lost <laughs> That Loving Feeling. There we go. That loving feeling. You guys are leaving Michael all by himself. We need I've a never heard of that. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't know what that song is. <laughs> that's it. That's all I got, Missy. Okay. Whoa, whoa, no, like, yeah. That's an old person song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're moving to the head. Oh. Jake, that's all right. That's all right. I remembered that I was supposed to imagine. Imagine the highlight. A circle. You, if you wait for Jake, you're gonna be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I'm going. Moving. Okay. So we have the eyeballs here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice black line this way. So like just not all the way around, okay? Because we're not outlining it. We're just doing the thick line of the eye that's in the body. Okay. Does that make sense? So like. Just on the inside, pretty much, towards the center. Just black. like that. Just black. My bee has ugly shaped eyes. Don't say that. Yeah, <laughs> your eyes, your bee's eyes are beautiful. Okay. Yeah, just on the inside part. Like that. We're not going to go all the way around. We're just going to go 
If you went all the way around. I only went like halfway, like a half moon, but to the That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. We're going just like to the, to the head. Okay. That's it. She's mad. Look at that, dude. That was Okay. Oh, my hat a more. And then I'm mixing my black and my golden brown. And I'm just kind of filling in the rest of the head. Just like this. Just kind of start to fill it in. And then when it gets to the nose, it gets... Is it black and golden brown? Black and golden brown. And then when we get to like the nose, it gets lighter. You just put that on the metal? Is this the big brush? Yeah. Oh, I got a little brush. You can use the little brush. Use whatever brush you feel comfortable. I like the little one more. Yeah, if you like the little one more, use that one. It just gets lighter towards the, the top of the bee. Sometimes you gotta stand and paint. Sometimes you gotta stand and paint, people. I'm standing right now. And you're just gonna kind of just do all the the head here to the fur. Yep. Okay. Yep. What about the eyes, you touch the eyes, it's okay. If you touch the eyes, it's okay. Yeah. If that black bleeds out a little bit, that's okay. What about on this side of this eye? Color that in. Okay. Oh, I was going all the way around the eye. Yeah. 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 There's a line there. Yeah. And this one goes like. <laughs> No, no, I mean with the brown. You know, everybody's going to have haters. That's what I always say. Even Beyonce has haters. Even Queen Bee. Treason. Treason. No one hates Beyonce. Can that be the next bee you paint? <laughs> yeah. The Queen Bee. Queen Bee. Beyonce will be our next bee that we paint. Okay, now I'm going to do the antennas. Now, it looks like on my outline, on my the right one, it got a little bit thick. So um, I'm just going to do, I'm going to follow this but not fill in the entire thing. Does that make sense? Because it just got a little bit thick on me on my outline. So I'm just going to kind of like that. See, so I'm not following the entire outline. I'm not filling in that entire space that I drew out because I want to keep my antennas um, kind of thin. Ye you yeah, I'll show them. So on the outline on my right side, it got pretty thick and wide. I, I don't want to fill that entire thing in because I want to keep my antennas more thin. So um, this one is not as thick. So this one I can kind of follow that more. But just so you guys know, you have that uh, kind of freedom to be like, that is too thick of an outline. That's what I did there. Now we're doing antennas. Yeah, I just did black. Okay. No, it My doesn't. No, it's fine. Do brown. Yeah, you can do dark brown. You can do black. I just did black, but if you're working with dark brown, that's totally fine too. You're not going to really be able to tell when it's done as long as it's dark. All right. Let's put in some uh, fur textures back into our body. So I'm taking a darker, so whatever color this that you have going on here, we're going to take a darker color. So I'm gonna go for golden brown on this. And I'm going to do those same hair textures, but not all the way around, just in some sections like so. So I'm gonna put in some hair textures here, over here. If you have the, if you can still see the 
lines drawn, the little dashes that were in the outline, if you can still see those, then go ahead and use those. Um, I don't think I drew those in, so I'm just gonna kinda freehand it, you know. And I'm gonna do it a little bit at the body too, kinda coming off from the body. Not all the way around, just sections here and there where they're kinda coming off. The reason why we don't want to do it all the way around is because when we have too much fur textures that are um, too regular, then it kind of loses what we're trying to do, which is add depth. So we don't want them all the same length. We don't want them all like totally even and symmetrical. We kind of want them a little bit more random. Yeah. And just kind of do that. Phone down. Phone. I was on a 15 yep. second delay on Facebook Live, so I could I could keep could keep up, but <laughs> <laughs> and then the little furry body part down here that's in the main part of the body, same thing, but this time I'm gonna go with like almost a black brown. because this is a really dark brown, and I'm just gonna do a couple little hair textures here and there. Just like that. Rachel Tuller says hi. Hi Rachel, we miss Hello. you. Hello. Okay, yep, that looks great. That looks really nice. Yeah, no, you're I'm fine. Put brown in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically we're just adding depth to our fur, so it's like there's layers of uh, fur hairs going on. It's not just one flat fur thing, if that makes any sense. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do the leg part that's underneath our wing. And so in order to achieve the look that it's still underneath the wing, but black, is we just do it in a lighter value. So I'm just using a light black if you if your legs are like black and brown just do a lighter version of that to get it lighter you just add water and you just fill it in using that light value so now our leg we can tell that this is one leg but now this section we can tell is underneath the wing because it is a lighter color. You guys getting that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holly, Holly wants to see the mixing pan a little bit more. Can you slide that? Yeah. Slide a bit. This. Oh, for in there? <coughs> Actually, I'm just going to do right, this. Brown. Huh? It's right here. So just full brown in there? Kind of, like a little bit light, but yeah. Then you let that dry and then you come back in with like a black. You got it, Jake. Yep. Yes, yes. yes, you got this, you got this. Okay. Now we're gonna do our wing lines. And so for these, um, I did like this brown black. Can you guys see that, that I'm mixing? Uh, I'm just mixing. I just brought a little of the golden brown over to my black just so it's a darker color. I, I don't want to use straight black because I don't want it to be a hard line, but I still want it to be dark enough that you can see it really good against this wing. And this is where you're gonna want to like turn your paper wherever it's comfortable and you're just gonna follow these lines that we already drew out. What about the outside of the wing? Uh, don't do the outside of the wing. The reason why we don't want to do the outside of the wing is we usually don't want to outline edges. When we outline edges, especially on something that's supposed to be as um, fine as a bee's wing, um, then it flattens it. That's what I was thinking. Oh, I know. Just kidding. You're there. You're familiar with the phrase, the bee's wings? <laughs> the bee's Yes.
A more fun to paint with than girls, right? And this, this is just black with brown? This is just like a mixture of the brown and the black. All right, I'm behind, I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm a little bit sooner. <laughs> a little bit closer. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Little, you're there, you're behind. a little bit sooner, you're behind. But I got that, this bush is done. Okay. I got the hedges this one. on the villages. So now take a lighter color, a, like a lighter brown or black. And you're going to fill in the rest of the, the leg that's underneath the wing. The situation over here, maybe? Yeah, you want to just make sure that it's a lighter color than your leg. Oh, no, 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 no. How do you make it lighter? Use that. Add water. Don't use that one. Are you not supposed to do this separation of the... Let's check in real quick. Let's check Okay, in. let's check in. No, you can. Just, I did. Just, like, cut it off at the... Right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have Noah's. He was asking about this line right here, like the wing separation. I drew mine in, so if you drew yours in too, that's totally fine. And um, his fur looks really nice. His texture's going on. Um, yeah, this looks really nice. Looks good. Keep it, keep it up. Thanks. Okay, honey. Yeah. We gotta turn here so I can see what's going on. Okay, so this looks really nice. He's filling in his lines right now. I think he got some great little fur textures going on here. Looks good. You feel good about it? Um, I'm getting there. Okay. What don't you like about it? What's bothering you? Here. It's kind of my favorite part too. This part you don't like? Yeah. Do you not like how dark this is? It like bled into my... If that bothers you, you can just take clean water and your brush and spread that out. So it kind of like matches, you know what I mean? Like spread this color out to the right. edges. I don't know if I love it yet though. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. So if it doesn't bother you enough, I would leave it. Cause I think textures like that are cool, but right. it's whatever, it's whatever you want. Thank you. Okay. Yep. So we just filled in the top part of his leg, which looks good. Cause now we can tell that it's underneath the wing. So that looks good. And then you can start putting in your lines, but your fur textures look really nice. It looks, it looks good. So put in the wings. Yeah, start putting With in what, the line work. Yeah, the black and the brown yeah. mixture. Awesome. <laughs> so try and get them as thin as you can. But I know it's hard to make really thin lines, so. Just do your best. If you have a liner at home and you're struggling with the thin lines, you can try a liner. That might help. Oh, what, was that your shoulder? My elbow. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting old. Can't be old, but it just pops every time I do this. <laughs> Real quick, Sarah, what else is left to do? What else is left to do are the eyeballs. And then I'll probably just go in and make this black part a little bit darker and that's it. What time is it? What, are you heading out? Yeah, you got somewhere to be, <laughs> Al? Not, sir. It's like, just real quick, what do, what do we, just what do we still got to do? Dre might have called, you never know. Okay, so for our eyes, that we have here. I have a couple, there's like a bigger circle in the middle. We're gonna paint that black. Okay. So my bigger circle in my eye, I'm gonna paint that black. And then there's like two smaller ones. We're gonna leave those white. So after, we're gonna take a second, let this black dry, and then we're gonna spread out the color, except for those white glare circles that we have. So while that's drying, so I put in my black of my eye, and while that's drying, I'm gonna do one more swoop across my body here and darken up the black part. So I'm gonna go back to my four. And um, you can darken it up, still try and keep that highlight value 
but this body we want it to be nice and black. And if you did yours dark enough the first time to where you don't have to do this, then don't feel like you have to do this. But mine, I noticed, just was a little too. And this is a good opportunity to here, now that our gold is, our yellow part is dry, you can, you can kind of strengthen those lines that we have. You're just using golden brown around the body, right? Well, for the black, I'm, I'm using black to fill in the black part of the body. So this is just straight black that I'm using right here. Just to darken my the black stripes on my bee. Oh and I went <laughs> Was that me? No. <laughs> Sorry, it was quiet. It was too quiet? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> the bee scared you? No. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> afraid of nothing. I'm not afraid of nothing. You guys leave me alone. I'm not scared. You're scared. <laughs> no, my face isn't red. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> my face isn't red. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to finish off my eyes. This should be the last thing that we're working on here. So I'm just taking the paint that we already laid down for the black part, and I'm just gonna fill in my bee's eyes except for those little white highlights, little white dots that I have circled. You're just doing water to pull that around? Yeah, it's like it's it's a wet brush, but it's not super wet to where it's dripping. I kind of got my brush wet, dabbed it on the paper towel a little bit. So I because I don't want like a puddle on my eye. Wait, 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 wait. I got to get in on this eye because I don't know I'll mess these up if I do them by myself. OK, so I'm taking black. I'm taking any color. No color. No color, just water. No, no he's here. I'll go back. OK. So you're gonna take just straight black and you see these like big circles that you have like right in the middle? That one right there? Yes, you're gonna fill that in black. Okay. And the same thing on that side, you're gonna fill that in black. Okay. Okay. Let's see it, Jay, we're on you. All right, guys, stick with me here. I'm gonna fill these in black. No pressure, not like the whole world's watching or anything. <laughs> It's a good thing. Like that? Yep. And we're just going to let that dry for a second. All right, now back to the wings. These are looking so good, you guys. I feel like you're not happy with yours. What's wrong? I'm really That's happy. That's his happy face. Oh, you this looked is, like This is sad. just my face. <laughs> this is just how I look. Pull yours down a little bit, sir. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Just like that. If, um, I know that you were following the dots, the dots, but make the, your glares a little bit smaller. Uh, what? Did you say dots? I was, I meant... <laughs> the dots. Okay, I'm gonna bring his over to see. So Noah followed the glares, right? But, um... I'm going to have him make them a little bit smaller because I think that the glares for this just are too strong that it's taking over the eye. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So make them um, a little bit smaller. Just the glare, not... Or, so so, both, both so make them. the white circles that you have smaller. Okay, both of them. Yeah, okay. both of them. Takes good, a good fine liner <coughs> to smalling. Amy says, if we need to, can we put a highlight in the eye with bleed proof white? Yes. So if you have bleed proof white and you weren't able to keep the highlight dot while you were filling it in, then just wait for it to dry. And then when it dries, you can just go in with your bleed proof and just do a little bit of a white dot 
towards the outer edge of the eye and then a very thin one towards the inner edge of the eye. That's where bleed proof white comes in handy. You can also use it sometimes to cover up, like you could take the bleed proof white and just paint over these darker spots on the like edge of your paper. Those if were you an artistic spilled. choice. I left those there on purpose. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <clears throat> Good. I call it not quite clean. Yeah. Um, for both of you guys, well, we're waiting for Jake just to finish the, that line work. <laughs> wow, we're waiting for Jake. <laughs> well, I'm just going to, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to blend out my my darker fur hairs a little bit. Because, like, just using water. Oh, my. Why what? are you ready? What in the world? I'm, I'm. The pen? The ah! The pen <laughs> is my dear. This the paper. <laughs> How was there? Have you swept the you paper? You think the paintbrush or Oh, I don't have that. I don't Look at Listen. I'm nervous. You guys are pushing me to the limits. And I don't have to cover this. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to get it right. There could have been paint on the paintbrush, okay? I'm pretty sure there was. There was, was for sure. I reconstituted it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just using water and I'm just um, kind of blending my fur textures out just a little bit, smearing them around. <laughs> just deteriorating the paintbrush. It disappears. It's so good. It just it melts so in his hand. <laughs> the paintbrush is gone. I'm a monster. <laughs> there, that. There we go. Did you do the bottom, like the bottom line of the wing? No. This? No. I did not. I'm done. I'm done with the wing. Okay, you yeah. just gotta fill in your eyes. So now, right, I'm doing with eye. some water. Some water, but kind of, yep. Yep. A and you're gonna fill in the entire eye except these little white glares, little dots that we have. With just white? With just water? With just water. Spread that. Touch that black. Yeah, spread that black out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Like that. Nice and easy there. All right. We're going to kind of connect this leg real quick. Yeah, if you got to, like, I had some a white space in between where my leg and my fur met, so I just went in and, like, just kind of, uh, added, filled in that white space a little bit. I'm not sure if anybody noticed, but this has a double, double uh, sparkle. There are, yep. This is a double sparkle. There is double sparkle. A full double sparkle. Just double that checking. Double sparkle skill. Double checking on the double sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> I did not paint in the lines yeah. on my wings at all. And I'm regretting Hello? it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> all right, are we ready to hold them up? I guess. Wait, what's the, ask if anybody has any questions. Any questions? Yeah, I got a few questions for you, okay? <laughs> you guys are leaving me the dust over here. No, I'm good. Spread I'm your black out a little bit more so it's not such a light gray around the rest of your eye. Yep, there you go. Okay, Ron, you ready with the small camera? <laughs> so we're going to uh, hold them up. You too, Jake. Okay. And he's going to do a slow pan across so we can see everybody's. Look at that, Noah. <laughs> Look at those. Get in closer, dude. There we go. Nice. Michael's. Michael's. Look at that sheen. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And Jake. And Jake's. Red hand Jake. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Good job, you guys! Uh, yeah! yeah. Oh, gotcha, boy. Now we can look at each other's and marvel at the beauty. Um, thank you so much for painting this. I want to see yours, so post it in the Facebook comments here on this thread, or if you put it on Instagram, tag us in it. Uh, you can hashtag let's make art, hashtag B. And um, that way we can see each hashtag other's. B? 
Hashtag B. That's Nobody an else hashtag. Is using that? Is it B? <laughs> is it hashtag B? B. B, e. B movie's been out. A lot of B, people, e. a lot of people are using that, but that's good. We want people to yeah, see yeah. it. Okay, okay. We're spreading, okay? Hashtag it's a business decision. <laughs> so, um, share your work, please. I know it's scary, but it's really awesome to share your work. And next week, if you guys have the oh, May box, then you already know. But next week we are doing popsicle. Oh, I can see Popsicles. We're all good. Yeah. Okay. Popsicles, we're going to play with salt. We have all this color. We have some fun stuff Sound going on. Better. So that is next mm -hmm. week. And Sound to be dead. Sound to be dead. That's it. No, I got to sound on. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.